Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another bespoke beer review for the beer connoisseur out there. And in this one, we've got a German Pilsner. We're going to a brewery which I've had a couple of beers from before over the past couple of weeks. And I've really enjoyed them, so I'm hoping this one will be good. And we're off to Turnbrow. And we've got a can of their premium Pils, courtesy of Stefan. And Stefan's put the price he's paid for it. It's 29 cents at the penny discount in Germany. Super smashing great. There you go. I'll give it a little twist for you. Um, I'll see what any info it's got on it. It's all in German. It is uh, Munchen Gladbach this comes from. Brauerei Brewery Munchen Gladbach. It's got Zutaten, Wasser, Gersten Malts, Hopfen Extract. There you go. So, let's crack this open, shall we? Let's see what it's all about. Yeah. I would say it's very the one I had yesterday. Uh, a little bit, you know, DMSC, sweet corn, that type of thing. Uh, DMS, look it up. Look look up what this is. I'll explain it to you, and I've forgotten the wrong word it is, but it smells of DMS, but it smells quite pleasant. Um, I'll be honest with you, it doesn't smell nasty, it doesn't. Um, it's got a sweet, malty smell, sweet corn smell to it, but it, it smells okay. It smells okay. So hopefully, this one would be okay. Because <laughs> it smells okay. <laughs> God, <laughs> stick that there. <sighs> stick that there, stick that there, stick that there like that. There you go. Beer in a glass, a cacophony of... Carbonation going up there, straw like colour, um, thinning, foamy head to her, I have to say. Um, so I'm going to go in. So cheers, Stefan, mate. Compared to the one I had yesterday, the Stefan, the Stefan Brow one. This one is actually okay. It's okay. Um, you do get the generic sweet corn, rye, maybe uh, crisp bread type of thing going on with it, but. The taste is very much more subtle. Um, that's what I prefer. There's a little these these kind of generic notes you do get. In, you know these premium pills. Um, for me, it has to work when it, they're more subtle. It works better when these taste notes are more subtle, and there's um, kind of like less metallic feel to it. You know, whenever I taste a metallic in a beer. This tells me that it's a bit and a bit. Nasty. This, if I didn't know the price, uh, uh, so it, it, it okay. Or the hot summer uh, go on with that. A tad. Uh, It is, you know, it's chuggable, so the money, 29 cents, you can't go wrong with it, really. So, boys and girls, um, this one does get a little up for me, because it's not, it's not terrible, it's not bad, it's, and for that price, you can't go wrong. The three beers I've had, I've got turned brown, it was a winter beer, and the other one was a, a wheat beer have all been pretty inoffensive, you know. Nothing nasty, boys and girls. Turn brown premium peels on a hot summer's day. If you can't get your pearl and backer peels or your wine backer peels, go for that one. Thank you very much for watching this beer review as ever. Please subscribe, remember me in the comments, and all of you again on another one. So, 